All right, hey, Honors Chemistry. So I wanted to provide some sample problems that would be a little bit directly related to your quiz that you're gonna take soon. So just to remind you, we did thickness and calculating the number of atoms in a sheet of foil um, on Monday. So here's some information. I have the density of aluminum is 2.71 grams per centimeters cubed. Uh, let's say I have the mass of an aluminum sheet is 37 grams, the length is 110 centimeters, the width is 22 centimeters, and the size of one aluminum atom is 1.43 times 10 to the minus 8th centimeters. So let's say I had like a sheet of foil, and it looks like this, okay? I got its length, width, and I want to know its, its how many atoms thick is it. This is skipping a bunch of steps. In order for me to figure out how many atoms thick, I need to know how thick it is first. So you're going to have to think about thickness. So first, if I know how thick that is, and I know the size of one of the atoms, I can figure out how many atoms thick it is. Now remember, I have the density and I have the mass, and I have the length and width. I could do volume is equal to mass over density. And that same volume is going to be equal to length times width times height. We know that. We know volume is length times width times height. And volume is also mass over density. And so if this is the length and this is the width, this thickness is the height. So height is also going to be thickness. And we talked about this in class and you had your formative quiz on that. So let's calculate our volume. Volume is going to be equal to mass, which is 37 grams, over the density, which is 2.71 grams per centimeters cubed. If I do that math, I get 37 divided by 2.71. Let's use, let's say, without sig figs, I have 13.65 centimeters cubed. Okay, so that's my volume. All right, let me bring this down a bit. If that's my volume, okay, I know that I could plug this volume into length times width times thickness. So 13.65 centimeters cubed is equal to length times width times thickness. And so let me plug in my length and width. My length was 110 centimeters and my width was 22 centimeters. So I'm just going to keep on carrying it down. 13.65 centimeters cubed is equal to 110 centimeters times 22 centimeters times thickness. If I want to solve for thickness, I have to do 110 times 22, which is 2420. Like if I do these two together, 2420 centimeters times centimeters is centimeters squared times thickness is equal to 13.65 centimeters cubed. If I want to solve for just thickness, I want to get rid of this 2420 centimeters squared. So I'm going to divide both sides by 2420 centimeters squared. 2420 centimeters squared, okay? Or I could say volume over length times width is equal to thickness, if you could remember that too. Volume over length times width, length times width was 2,420, so volume over length times width, and I get a thickness that's equal to uh, 13.65, Thirteen point six five divided by twenty four twenty. I get a thickness of zero point zero zero five six four. Zero point zero zero five six four centimeters. That's how thick the foil is. Now, if I want to figure out how many atoms thick, that's just how thick the foil is. If I want to sketch like a zoomed in version of the thickness. If this is thickness, if I know the size of one atom, if I divide the thickness by the size of one atom, I'll figure out how many atoms could fit in that thicknesses space. So let me write that down. 
number of atoms is equal to the thickness over the size of one atom. So in doing that, number of atoms is going to be equal to my thickness, which is 0 0.00564 centimeters, divided by the size of one atom was identified and said to be 1.43 times 10 to the minus eighth, 1.43 times 10 to the minus eighth centimeters. If I divide those two numbers, divided by 1.43 times 10 raised to the minus eighth, I'm going to get a lot of freaking atoms. 3.94 times 10 to the 11th. So 3.94 times 10 to the minus 11th atom. I'm sorry, 10 to the 11th. Oh, wait. My calculator did this wrong. Nice, right? Let me do 0. 0.0. 0, 0, 00564 divided by, this is what happens when you have to be careful with the calculator, minus 11 doesn't make any sense, divided by, you always have to use parentheses, 1.43 times 10 raised to the minus 8th, and I get, there we go, a lot of freaking atoms, 394,405. 394,405 atoms. So good, I'm glad that mistake happened with the calculator. Look at what happened. If I didn't put parentheses, it gave me a weird number. If I didn't put a parentheses around my scientific notation, it gave me the uh, it gave me a wrong number. Here is the correct number. I should have a lot of atoms. So the correct answer is for this question is 394,405 atoms of aluminum. Okay? So Use this as part one of your quiz help to help you with your calculations. You could definitely do volume um, by mass over density and then volume and length times width times height. I will also have maybe how thick a fold is, and you could do the same type of calculations. And just remember, the number of atoms will be my thickness over the size of one atom.